The only person with whom I felt any kinship died 300 years before the birth of Christ, Alexander of Macedonia, or Alexander the Great, as you know him. His vision of a united world was, well, it was unprecedented. I wanted, needed to match his accomplishments, and so I resolved to apply antiquity's teachings to our world today, and so began my path to conquest. Conquest not of men, but of the evils that beset them. Fossil fuels, oil, nuclear power are like a drug, and you gentlemen along with foreign interests are the pushers. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. We can do so much more. We can save this world. I mean, they say I'm the smartest man in the world. You're the smartest man on the cinder. With the right leadership. Near them, on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive stamped on these lifeless things. The world will survive, and it deserves more than you've been able to provide. Humanity's savage nature will inevitably lead to global annihilation. So in order to save this planet, I had to trick it with the greatest practical joke in human history. The hand that mocked them, and the heart that fed. We were supposed to make the world a better place. Dan, that's exactly what I am doing. And on the pedestal, these words appear. Adrian, you're just a man. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Killing millions. To save billions. I've made myself feel every day. I see every innocent face I have murdered to save humanity. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away.